The worst transportation crisis is spreading over Europe. The airspace of the European Union is closed because of the volcanic eruption. The volcano was sleeping for nearly two centuries. Eyjafjallikul, located 200 km from the capital of Iceland, Reykjavik, is a huge glacier under which there is a volcano of a conical shape. By the evening of March the 20th, a glacier in the eastern part cracked. The crack was about 500 meters, and then the eruption began. Nearly 800 people were evacuated from the nearby places. On April the 14th, the lava began to spread under the ice. The magma cooled quickly, causing explosions, and an explosion phase of the eruption began. A small particle of quartz and volcanic ash were ejected to the atmosphere, to the altitude of 11,000 meters, and fumes of grift are catastrophic to the aircraft engines. Scotland became the first country which closed airports due to the release of the ashes. The United Kingdom was the second. The work of more than 300 airports was blocked. About 63,000 flights were cancelled, and around 7 million passengers were unable to fly. Such a phenomenon, a safety limit, appeared in the summer of 1982. All four engines of a passenger Boeing 747 failed over the Indian Ocean in June. The incident was due to the ashes thrown into the air during a volcanic eruption in Gallagher. More than a hundred incidents of ash entering the turbine aircraft over the past 20 years are known. The experts say the eruption will intensify if the crack goes deeper under the glacier. There would be more ashes that would affect the air communication over Europe again, where the northwest wind carries a cloud of volcanic ash. The power of the eruption and ash emissions into the atmosphere depend on the thickness of the ice. If the lava will continue to flow from the ice lead, the ashes will be thrown out and down again, the experts say. Then Europe will have to rebuild its air trains again. On April the 19th, the representatives of the German country Lufthansa said that there was no further danger. The results of test flights without passengers during the weekend revealed no damage to the engine from the falling volcanic ash. Lufthansa flew 11 test flights, Dutch KLM-9, the French company Air France 7. After multiple protests by the airlines suffering multi-million dollar losses, a few airports in Germany and Finland opened by Monday. On April the 20th, due to the powerful transportation crisis, the European Union announced a plan to mitigate the ban on air travel across the continent. Gradually, operations in the airports were resumed, but with the warning of possible disruptions. At 12 airports in Russia, about 600 flights were cancelled or delayed as of April the 20th. The full schedule of flights can be restored by Thursday only if the activity of the Icelandic volcano does not increase. Losses and cancellation of airline flights in Europe grew to $300 million a day. One can only imagine how volcanic ash in the atmosphere would impact the climate and the financial world.